squat to stand. And they're also called Russian baby makers and they're also called bootstrappers. Um, but we'll stick with squat to stand. So we're gonna set up, start in a squat position. So we're gonna start in this low squat position. So this would be the squat part of the movement. But we're gonna tuck our hands under our feet. Um, this stops us falling back, which means we can use this grip to really squeeze every bit of range out of this movement, out of this position that we can. So I'm sitting as tall as I can, moving my back as upright as I can, trying to drive my belly button through this space between my feet. And that would be the squat element now. As we transition to the, to the stand, it's only the lower body that's doing the stand bit, so I'm coming up out of the squat, and it becomes a forward fold now. So I would be relaxing the head, my hands would stay under the feet, and that's another leverage to pull me down. Be aware of if you're, you'll know if your hamstrings are tight, or you should do. Um, if they are tight, locking the knees probably not the best idea, because as you pull down, you're probably stretching on the lower back more than the hamstring so it's probably a good idea to bend the knees a little bit keep that contact with the belly on the thigh in here and then as you look to challenge the hamstrings a bit more you just look to try and move them to a more locked position whilst maintaining that belly on thigh contact you don't want to be you can't see with my t-shirt but you don't want to be in this hunched over position okay because that's probably going to putting way more effort on the back than we'd like. So we just move through the position a couple of times. So I would come down into my squat and sit tall. And then I would come down into, well, up or down into my stand. And get a bit out of the hamstring. Down into my squat, sit tall. And then move down into my fold. So that is the squat to stand.